I'm Sarah and I did my postdoc together with Yoris DeWitt and Bartas Trooper and I will tell you about the work that just got published in Nature Neuroscience. So even though uh, Alzheimer's disease patients accumulate amyloid beta and tau protein in toxic aggregates, these patients remain uh, cognitively stable for a, a long period of time. So we were very curious about what mechanisms are responsible and maintain the brain homeostasis during this period of time. And what we think is that the failure of this event, the failure of these processes, may underlie the onset of cognitive decline. So interestingly, during the early phase of Alzheimer's disease, patients can experience sleep problems and also an increase in brain activity that resembles epilepsy. But this usually goes unnoticed, not only by the patients, but also by doctors. So in this work, we identified a neuropeptide called melanin concentrating hormone, MCH for short, and we found that this peptide is involved in the maintenance of brain homeostasis and also in the progression of Alzheimer's disease. So we found that the MCH peptide, which is known to regulate sleep, is able to reduce the activity of neurons in the hippocampus, a region that is very important for memory formation. Moreover, we found that an ADMAS model shows a decrease in the activity of neurons that produce MCH peptide, and this mouse also showed altered sleep patterns. Interestingly, this mouse model displays increased neuronal activity like the humans and um, we were able to rescue this increase of neuronal activity in the hippocampi of these mice in brain slices when we incubated these slices with MCH peptide. We also show that MCH neurons axons are damaged in the brains of these mice model uh, but also in the brains of AD patients so brain slices from human patients. So these findings highlight the importance of the MCH system in early stages of Alzheimer's disease and indicate that the failure of the MCH neurons contribute to a loss of neuronal stability in the brain. And this paves the way for novel strategies that aim to stabilize brain activity, not on, only in Alzheimer's disease, but other neuro, 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 neurological